So uh, before we kick start, what is agile contract? Uh, can can somebody tell tell me what is a contract? Contract is an agreement, right? I mean, a formal kind of an agreement. Uh, okay. So to start with agile contract, a contract is nothing but a formal documentation between a team or a vendor or a, and a client. So in in our IT terms, it's a formal communication or a written document which is which has been agreed upon between a project team and a business. Right? It includes what would be covered, what would not be covered, uh, what would be the scope of project, how the project would be handled, and what are the third parties that would be involved. A typical co contract. So now, uh, how is agile contract different from a normal contract? In a waterfall model or basically or any other uh, software life cycle technique, the project could be fixed price as well where a fixed time and fixed scope. But since we are agile, we tend to avoid fixed price and fixed scope and fixed time. Can one of you tell me why we should avoid fixed price and fixed scope, fixed time as FSFT? Similarly, with in the case of a, a fixed price, uh, if let's assume if I say okay, I'll deliver this website in hundred dollars because internally I thought this will just take twenty hours of my effort. But eventually, since I was agile, I started. Uh, there was a scope creep. The change things started changing. Uh, whatever was decided as a very initial phase did not turn out to be, and it took fifty hours of my effort. But since it was a fixed price contract, I can't ask for more money. But I almost spent 150% of additional effort. Right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, in agile projects, fixed price FSFE should be avoided. Uh, the best, one of the best approach that is recommended is fixed price per iteration. So, for a iteration in agile, the size of iteration remains fixed. If in the beginning of the project, the size of iteration is decided to be three weeks or maybe four weeks, no matter what, iteration size does not increase. Depending upon the situation, we might choose to drop or pick up additional stories, but the size of the iteration would not increase. So this would be irrespective of the stories or the features I uh, deliver. Okay. So one of the best recommended technique is fixed price iteration. So my team ha had eight people. Eight into uh, eight into eight is uh, sixty-four, and sixty-four into uh, what? Uh, Sixteen days, probably in case of two day, uh, two days. Sorry, fifteen days. In uh, case of three weeks, it would be this would be the cost, right? I know the cost, and it would be irrespective of the features I deliver, right? So one of the ways is this. Another is progressive contracts. So the progressive contracts are the one where we can have a, a variable scope or TNM kind of a project, which again they should be again based on per iteration. We should we cannot gauge the complete project when we are working on agile. Since the we are talking about we will accept change. So it should if we are working on a TNM model as well, it should be based on each iteration. Right? Then there are certain other ones which are like variable price and variable scope, uh, fixed price per unit of work. So for example, I say, uh, okay, so this there is this point, story point. Do you have any idea about the story point? No. Okay. No, no idea. Yeah. No, he is not. Okay. So story point is nothing but in agile when we have to describe the complexity of a requirement, we define that in a story point. Or make, there is another thing which is used which is called uh, t-shirt sizing. Right? So if I have a huge requirement, I would put it, call it as Excel. If it's a small requirement, it would be small. Similarly, so we have small, medium, large, Excel and double Excel depending upon how big the project is. Whereas in numbers, if I have to define, I we generally use Fabianicki series. 
which is 1, 2, 3, 5, and so on. 5, 8, 13, and so on. So, <clears throat> so what we do is we uh, charge on the basis of a story point. So now I know my stories, I know my requirements, okay, and each requirement I give a story point. I define the complexity. So based on that, I say, okay, any requirement which I will take with three story points would be charged for this much amount. So it is uh, calculated in the sense of its analogy to R. By the time you have one or two iterations down, you would be able to gauge, okay, three story points generally takes five hours of uh, effort. So this is how you can calculate. Um, so these are the typical agile contracts. So for me, I think uh, beds is a fixed price iteration per. And again, if you are, we are using TMN, it should be again uh, iteration on basis of the iteration. 